In today's episode, we look at Mazda's premium-focused CX-60 and CX-90 SUVs, and in particular, the ownership experience for new buyers since launch, focusing on reported issues, recalls and safety campaigns for both vehicles. So buckle up and let's get started. Since 1991, and its cancelled attempt to create a luxury arm of Mazda with Amati, the company has long held aspirations to compete with premium car brands by following in the footsteps of Toyota, Nissan and Honda. Thanks to its well-established Kodo design language, Mazda has worked hard for over a decade or so to establish a contemporary, stylish and premium-looking range of vehicles which punch above their weight. Therefore, its announcement back in 2021 to create a large product group line of upmarket SUV vehicles came as little surprise to the motoring press, with Mazda firmly setting its sights on the likes of the BMW X3, Lexus NX and Volvo XC60 with the new upcoming range. The Mazda CX60 was the first to be announced for Europe, with headline-grabbing news that its engine lineup would feature the brand's first plug-in hybrid, also being the most powerful Mazda ever, with a combined 323 brake horsepower, along with two newly developed six-cylinder units, a 3.3 eSky Active diesel and 3-litre eSky Active X petrol. With the motoring press being given extensive access to review the exterior and interior of prototype CX60 vehicles, the signs were extremely promising. Its looks were almost universally praised, while the interior quality, particularly in higher Takumi trim, was also positively received. As such, Mazda's extensive pre-launch marketing blitz had done its job, and a huge amount of interest and goodwill had been generated for launch. Both Japanese and Mazda car enthusiasts had high hopes that finally, perhaps for the first time, Mazda could genuinely do battle with premium sector alternatives while being significantly cheaper in price. Launch reviews, however, for both the CX-60 and larger North American seven-seater CX-90 were mixed. For example, Thomas Myshak of Autogafuel liked the direct steering feel of the PHEV version, but thought development of the vehicle did not feel complete, citing rebound from the stiff suspension. In the US, Mark Sanyu and Jack Holmes of the Savage Geese YouTube channel, and both admirers of the Mazda brand, had this to say about the CX-90. All the little things start adding up to it. Once you get over the, the, the surface level things, and I know there's been a lot of software updates and there's gonna be a continue to be a ton of TSB and software bulletins to, to fix a lot of things that are going on with this, but still, like we're in a vehicle that I'm getting ghost alerts for things that are not around us from, yes the 360 monitoring um, and, you know, Mazda's The laundry set. list of the problems with this car that I didn't touch about in the yeah. shop. The, the plug-in hybrid variant has issues. There's weird drivetrain noises out of this thing. Here are some other quotes from motoring journalists for the CX-60, which Mazda have either addressed since launch or need to develop further as part of a product update. So let's go through the issues one by one. The fixes, recalls and safety campaigns described for both the CX-60 and CX-90 may vary from country to country depending upon local statutory requirements. So if you're affected by one or more issues, first check your vehicle's VIN number against the recall page on Mazda's official website or contact your nearest dealer for advice. Should any vehicle defect pose an immediate safety concern, then manufacturers are obliged to send an official notification by post detailing the issue, its seriousness, and the remedial action to be taken. First, low-speed suspension creak caused by bushings rubbing against the front lower control arms. Until now, Mazda service technicians have been instructed to grease each bushing 
but that only appears to be a temporary fix, while in certain markets, revised suspension components are set to be introduced for dealers to settle warranty claims. 2. Powertrain shift shock from first to second gear at low speeds. To remedy the issue, Mazda issued a Technical Service Bulletin, or TSB, to perform a software update requiring a transmission recalibration, which requires the vehicle to relearn driver throttle inputs after being installed. 3. Heavy or sticky steering. Officially being described by Mazda as a vehicle exhibiting resistance when turning the steering wheel, this is caused by a potentially deformed steering gear worm wheel and worm gear and requires a new gear and linkage to be installed. Lead times on the new parts can be several weeks. 4. Tailgate latch clicking or creaking noise issue. Mazda's current fix is to spray and clean parts of the lock striker and lock actuator to remove grease and wear debris. A TSB has been issued for this problem and a mass production change is under review for new vehicles. 5. Low 12 volt risk battery warning. Applies especially to the CX60 PHEV version and requires the dealer to perform a software update and or install a new 12 volt battery. 6. Improper logic of fail-safe mode may cause the engine and electric motor to shut down. This could cause loss of drive power, increasing the risk of an accident and also affects the front, side and rear view cameras in the event of a malfunction. The recall requires dealers to reprogram the powertrain control module, PCM, and engine control module. 7. Sound insulation on rear doors. A tinny or hollow door closing sound and increased road noise from the rear cabin is remedied by Mazda dealers retrofitting an insulation kit. CX60 vehicles built from February 2023 should have the kit installed as standard. Number 8. Unsettled rear suspension. Affecting both the PHEV and diesel versions of the CX60, Mazda are now factory fitting revised rear dampers to new vehicles to counter the effects of a bouncy unsettling ride. For vehicles built before September 2023, these are being handled by dealers on a claim by claim basis. These are the main issues reported by CX60 and CX90 owners although there have been a number of other TSBs, particularly in the US, that include driver personalization system failures, hybrid system malfunctions, and other instrument cluster problems, as well as active safety technology updates. Our aim with this video is not to disparage Mazda. In fact, the opposite is true, as we're not only sympathetic towards the brand, but believe both vehicles have the potential, with product updates and further development, to be among the best in class. We also accept that the majority of CX60 and CX90 owners may have had few or no issues with their cars. There remain, however, a significant number who, having invested a sizable sum on a model which aims to compete with BMW, Audi, Lexus and Volvo, feel as though they've been active beta testers for Mazda's newest generation vehicles. With certain issues, this may have resulted in their cars being off the road for days and weeks, undermining their confidence for both day-to-day -day usage and long-term ownership. So if you're a CX60 or CX90 owner, let us know how you've got on with your vehicle so far. Has it been reliable or have you experienced some of the issues detailed? And would you purchase another Mazda in the future? let us know. And don't forget to subscribe for further updates and other interesting news stories.